I still can't believe he fell for it. Can you imagine a doctor drunk and dressed like a bat? <laughs> my hands! My poor hands! For heaven's sake, Adele, get a hold of himself. <laughs> Will you let me finish my story? Your aunt died last month. the month before that. <laughs> and the month before that. <clears throat> that line always works on the boss. Anytime I get invited to a party or a weekend excursion, my aunt suddenly falls sick, but she always recovers. You never know what I'm going to need her to get me out of next week. And if that doesn't work, well, I know all their secrets. But I wouldn't just tell anyone. Adele, I need you to help me with my hair. Can't she do anything herself? I do hope that this lawyer fellow Gabriel Hire knows what he's doing. What's his name? Dr. Blind? I told him to get a reference, but he never listens to me on these matters. Apparently, this is a case that can't be lost. But I've got a funny feeling about it all. I don't know what I'd do if Gabriel went to prison. so lonely with only you to keep me company. And maybe Alfred to keep me warm in it. Oh, that's far too tight, dear. That's better. Anyway, where was I? Oh yes, father dressed as a bat. Did I mention the part about me leaving him on a park bench outside the church while he was asleep? Yeah. And when they came out of the church, they thought it was a gargoyle. <laughs> I do love how gullible Falcon can be. I've never been so embarrassed in my entire life. Who does that Eisenstein think he is? The last thing I remember is having a scotch in my hand, and then I woke up in the park, and the priest is trying to exercise me. It was like some kind of nightmare. Oh, how I wish I could pay him back for the pain he put me through. Rosalind.